Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry about the delay, I was actually on vacation for a while and wanted to see some friends and family. I hope you're all doing okay. Anyway, this is a video about DDoSing, or DOSing, I'm sure you've all heard of the term before. It is very mainstream, although what many people don't know is that DDoSing is not hacking. All it is is sending a bunch of packet requests to a server and flooding it with a bunch of UDP requests, or ICMP requests to a certain port. The difference between DOSing and DDoSing is that DOSing is usually done on one router or network with very little power, and DDoSing is with more power, and this power can range from botnets to routers or anything really. Uh, DDoSing stands for Distributed Denial of Service Attack, and D DOS is Denial of Service. Um, anyway, there's three different types of uh, uh, DDoSing. There's there's uh, application layer DOS attacks, protocol layer DOS attacks, and volume based DOS attacks. So anyway, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to deauthenticate a network or a, a server or something like that? Well, the only practical use I can really see for DOSing is deauthenticating a Wi-Fi or WPA network, so you can connect and send beacons to the network. Anyway, today we're going to be using GoldenEye and Xerzex to try and deauthenticate a website or something. Um, l l let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Firefox and go to this GitHub page right here. Uh, this is where you'll find the code and everything like that for the DOS tool. You then want to do the usual thing, clone and download this. After you've done so, we can just get cloned. Actually, before we get cloned, we want to make a new directory. So we're going to do mkdir golden i. So whenever you type ls to see your contents, you can see that golden i is right here. Um, mm -hmm. So when you CD into GoldenEye, there's nothing here, but we're gonna we're gonna clone the web the code to this directory right here, GoldenEye. So we're gonna clone that. And then we're gonna view our contents again. We're going to CD again into GoldenEye. Because that's the actual program. Then we're going to want to chmod so we make the program executable. Uh, I think it's already executable because it's green. But the next thing you're going to want to do after that is type golden i.py or you can do python golden i.py. It, it's either one. It's going to run the program, show you all the parameters and stuff like that which I find very helpful. Um, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to type what it says up here. We're going to type goldeneye.py for Python. Um, <clears throat> we're going to type in the URL and the URL, I, let me see here, the URL I'm using is https www.hackthissite.org I assure you this works. If it doesn't work on this website, it will work on a more unsecure website. Um, then you're going to want to type in the parameters, so dash w for workers, or I'll just do dash dash workers, so it's, it's either one really. I'll put 20, because that's how many workers I want to be going at sending the request to try and deauthenticate the website. Um, and then we're going to do dash s, or dash sockets and I'll put about 10 socket layers on there for the tag and I, I think we're ready to send the attack so let's try to authenticate the website I figured it's actually better to do dash w dash s but anyway it's uh, sending a whole bunch of HTTP get requests that's going to probably fill up the server and the thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up more than one terminal. 
See, it's already trying. So I guess I can't make a new tab. But anyway, just open up a bunch of tabs and do the same process over and over. So it's it's key, it keeps hitting at 511. We're gonna see if we can take down this website. Um, actually, while we're waiting on the deauthentication attack to appear, we can actually go to let's see, open up a new tab, and we can go to one of those websites where we, is it down or not? And it should show us if the website is having problems or issues. So let's just take a look at the URL and see. So yeah, I'm, I uh, Firefox ESR is not working for me. So basically, I went to this on Windows, and uh, yeah, I'll just enter the domain. Or okay, um, it's a uh, www.hackthissite.org. That's what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna see if it's uh, up and running since we're sending so many like requests. may take a little bit but if it usually takes longer that means there's something that's not right going on and look I just defaced the website so there you go um, that's my tutorial on DDoSing and I hope you all enjoy